making bunnies, take one. We're gonna start off by making some really good sandwich bread, very soft, flour, mm, not flour. Making your own bunnies, take two. Sometimes you just gotta have make your own bunny. <laughs> 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 yeah. Take three. Lockdown day 71 here and sometimes you just have to make your own buddy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really soft white sandwich loaf and then we're going to make a delicious pork vindaloo curry. We're going to combine those and come up with an amazing buddy. To start I'm just going to mix a half a cup of milk with half a cup of water. I'm just going to pop that in the microwave to warm for a few seconds. of yeast and then give that at least 15 minutes to get to work before we start with the flour. Measure out three cups of white flour. All right the yeast has had a chance to get nice and big so I'm just going to combine it now with the flour. Just going to combine these and then once they've combined I'm going to add a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness and some salt. All right, in goes the butter. Mm. Whew, that guy needed a good kneading. That uh, has gone silky now and smooth. There he is. And we're just going to set him aside now and let him double in size. To go with the bunny, we're going to make a pork vindaloo curry. I love vindaloo. It's actually a Portuguese dish, well, Portuguese influenced dish, and it's quite different from other curries. It's from the region of Goa in India, and the Portuguese like to do it with pork, which they still do in Goa. That's quite unusual for a curry in Durban because a lot of the Indian population here is Muslim, so they don't cook with pork. So, I'm just gonna get the spices ready. I'm going to... Put a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna chuck in a lovely mix of chilies, cloves, star anise, peppercorns, cinnamon stick, and cumin seed. And we're gonna make this pop and sizzle a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're just gonna put this into a pestle and mortar. Okay. Now we're just gonna grind. The smell of that cinnamon is amazing. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of vinegar to my spices. There's your final paste. I'm gonna start to get that oil hot. And I'm gonna chuck in the onions. Two onions? Two onions. Two onions. I'm just gonna cook those down for about 15 minutes. Okay, the onions are nice and brown, so I'm going to add the garlic, add the ginger as well. That's supposed to be four cloves of garlic. I think I did six. <laughs> Always do more garlic than recommend. Mm -hmm. Here goes the tomato. I'm just going to cook this down for five minutes. I've got some beautiful pork neck steak from Hunt Farms, it's a local supplier that I've chopped up. A teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of turmeric. A beautiful color. And our vinegar mix. <coughs> oh yeah, I almost forgot. <clears throat> COVID alert. <laughs> okay, in go those beautiful vinegary spices from earlier. That is what's gonna make this. Mm. Oh yeah. I want this to have quite a good gravy because it's gonna be in my bunny later. So add some water. The bread has had time to prove. Look how nice and big that is. That's looking real doubly. I don't wanna knock all the air out of it. I'm just gonna reshape it. Pop it in the loaf pan. I'm just going to let that prove in there. 
and then we'll pop it in the oven. We're gonna go into the oven for half an hour at 180, and when it comes out, we're gonna make our bunny. Look at that bread. Oh, yeah. That looks very nice. I think that is going to be beautiful. Wow, that looks soft. That is soft. Oh, beautiful. Damn. Look at that. That is a beautiful white bread. Nice. All right, the bread's ready. It's super soft, super white, almost cakey. I think it's gonna be a very good bunny bread. The pork vindaloo looks amazing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a nice juicy ladle. Put that into my bunny. Oh yeah, a bit more juice. Extra gravy. <laughs> Coriander. Got a little bit of Gorima's tamarind chili. A little bit of mango acha. Nice. Okay, let's head outside and eat. Always best to enjoy a bunny with a beer. Cracking open one of these Nguni Brewing Company Baltic Porters. Barrel aged in white oak. Ooh, that's nice, chalky tea. Now, let's see how good our bunny is. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. Lovely spicy curry, soft bread. Could have gone for a little bit more gravy, but all in all, for a home effort, amazing. Owen says, make your own bunnies.